Ukrainian troops continue to make rapid gains near the devastated city of Bakhmut in eastern Donetsk region. The country's forces have advanced 1.7 kilometers near Bakhmut over the past 24 hours, spokesman of Ukraine's eastern group of forces, Serhiy Cheravati, said on Saturday. Despite the lack of any advantages in terms of personnel, shells and military equipment, our forces continue to advance on the flanks during the fighting. During the past day, they managed to advance from 150 to 1,700 meters. Cheravati said, adding that initiative was on the side of the Ukrainian army. He stressed that Russia is bringing in new units, in particular airborne units, into the Bakhmut area in an attempt to stop Ukrainians. Over the past day, Russian forces struck the Ukrainian army positions 487 times, attacking with the use of aviation six times. Overall, 25 battles took place over the past 24 hours. Some 130 Russian soldiers were killed and 145 others were injured and four were captured in these battles. Ukraine's Deputy Defense Minister Hanna Malia confirmed the gains made near Bakhmut, adding that the situation is tense on all areas of the front. Naming eastern areas where fighting has been fierce for months, she said, the enemy continues to focus its main efforts on the Lyman, Bakhmut, Avdivsky and Marinka directions. Heavy fighting continues. Earlier, head of Russia's Wagner private military company, Yevgeny Prigozhin, announced that by late May, his forces would leave Bakhmut because they had exhausted their potential. Meanwhile, the Institute for the Study of War reported on June the 9th that Ukrainian armed forces were advancing 1.8 kilometers wide and 1.2 kilometers deep along the western bank of the North Donetsk Channel, west of Andreevka.